What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Pull Up Experience Podcast Edition. Today, we got another great episode for y'all. This handsome fella to my left is Roscoe No E. He is the king of putting you together, whether it is um, your spoken word, your branding, uh, NFTs, and digital cryptocurrency. We're going to get into all of it tonight. Um, but Let's get it going. What's up? Hey, I appreciate you having me on. Like, oh, appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you. We, like, you know, all killing it. Like, <laughs> oh, oh. and I, this is my first interview of the year too, so I'm excited. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. he is a yeah. first interview of the year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. he our first interview. Hey, yeah. yeah. so there you that's go. What's up. You know that's what I'm saying? We saw the year off right. That's right. Saving, right. saving, saving the, the the first and the best. You know, I guess yeah. the last, but to start it off. So, sure. no, yeah. I'm excited to be here. And I'm glad to have you, because bro, you are the authority. On this thing, like if I, if I promise you, anybody's been NFT, I'm like, up, oh, hit Roscoe, up, up, bro. Look, 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 come on, boy, base anything, hit up Roscoe, yeah, whatever. So yeah. I don't want to overwhelm the, the viewers, so I want to let's, let's start with the basics, okay. right? Yeah. If I'm a person who wants to invest, and I say, hey, listen, Roscoe, what is what what, what, what is NFTs? Yeah. What, 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 explain that for Keith because I know she don't know. Yeah, I'm low key real slow for real, so please. <laughs> NFTs are uh, non fungible tokens. Everybody knows that already. Um, mm-hmm. When you hear non fungible, it's something that's not physical. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, this is this is fungible, this is physical. Um, so you want to think of it like that. And also at the same time, um, it's a lot of digital assets. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of times we can collect art, we can collect different things, but with NFTs, you're collecting them, but it's stored digitally. Um, mm-hmm. So think of NFT as somebody be like, can I NFT this bottle? Yeah, you can. But if you get a graphic designer to make it a 3D art or image, it becomes an NFT. So mm-hmm. it has to be something digital. You can even take a picture of it and upload it as an NFT. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people think you got to do like a graphic design. It can be a picture, but it has to be in like a, a JPEG or a PNG type of file. We about to be rich, y'all. Uh, yeah, so we, everything. Gonna, we about NFT, to be NFT everything. and everything. <laughs> so that's what NFTs are. It's, it's something that you can make. Even artists that have art out already, you can redevelop it and recreate it and list it as an NFT. So mm. NFT is just a word everybody try to make sound cool and list it, but yeah. anything can be NFT. Literally anything. So a I saw, podcast can be NFT. Yeah. Let's get that going, yeah. y'all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, so all right, so so I seen Tory Lanez okay. where he uh took his album and he, he NFT the whole album. Like yep. and he and I think he had it for like a dollar or something like that. Right. And he made it so that his followers when they resold it, yep. they sell it for a higher value or whatnot. Exactly. And I know when we talked about a little while back, like basically we talked about how this this thing could be the gold rush for us. Mm-hmm. That uh, like back in the day when people was talking about you know finding gold, well this could be ours right Thank here you. or whatnot. Thank so you. let me ask you this: How how in your opinion how can we as a people use this to our advantage or whatnot? So I would say uh, research, man. Let's talk about the Tory Lane thing first. Tory Lane sold his NFT for a dollar, which is genius because people can afford it. Yeah. We know with us, we're not buying nothing unless we're not gonna buy nothing regardless mm-hmm. unless we believe in it. Um, but let alone sell it for a dollar, you're like, okay, I'll lose a dollar. Oh, my bad, y'all. Yeah. I lose a dollar. Um, you don't know what's going on, it's a dollar. So mm-hmm. what he did was he said, I'm gonna list it as an NFT, but he did it as a musician where it's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna put out a certain album that only people that buy this NFT can listen to. Mm-hmm. So that gives you another reason to buy it. Exclusive, yeah. uh, make exclusive. exclusive. Yeah, mm-hmm. everybody you're gonna hear this a lot, utility. What is the utility meaning? Why am I buying this NFT? Mm. If I buy it, what comes with it? Do it come with a free bottle of wine? Do it come with a free admission to an event? Do it come with a free guest? Or am I just buying it for that? So what he did was he said, if you buy this, not only are you gonna hear this album exclusively, meaning nobody else can hear this album unless they have this NFT. Mm. You sell a million, there's billions of people in the world. Now the people that bought it for a dollar, everybody hears about it. They can resell it at any amount they want because Tory Lanez, millions of other fans wanna hear this music. So that makes it again more exclusive. Now I want to sell it for ten thousand, even though I bought it for a dollar, because I want to hear that new uh, Tory Lanez nobody heard. Mm. So people will pay whatever for it. So that's why whoever paid a dollar can flip it for whatever they want, because the people want it. it's the exclusive thing. My mind going out. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 the words. Come like you know yeah. what we got exclusive now. Yeah, that uh-huh. was great. That was, okay, so when it comes to NFT yep. cryptocurrency. Where do you see this going, and like, how can like somebody just get like split in the door? Good question. Um, it's over with, y'all. NFTs is here to stay. It's mm. our future. Um, it's where everything's going. Yeah, as y'all can see, this year is picking up. Like, we talked about it like months ago, but now it's like yeah. everywhere you go, people talking about it. But uh, it's the future, man. Like, smart contracts, what people can use. Think of it like a paper contract. Like, hey, I signed this and give mm-hmm. it to you. 
everything's changing the smart contracts and i know you're in the real estate yeah. that's also changing too because y'all do a lot of paperwork yeah. what if a smart contract you put all that paperwork into one button you press it and then it's over with the deal's done Damn. Damn. all that that's what smart contracts are doing so it's making um the space even more bigger so nfts they're just a foot in the door what's going to crack the world is smart contract and blockchain technology mm. those two things are where our world is going like that's making everything digitized that's making everything more simple um and i feel like as we go into nfts and then the metaverse and the web 3.0 this is where all this is leading everybody just know nfts though right, right, right. They, they, they people know about metaverse and web 3.0 but they don't know that all that's built on um, nfts is just built on that platform Wow. You can't you can't buy NFTs without blockchain. You can't buy NFTs without a smart contract. But that's the little big time stuff nobody can talk about. Mm. They can just say NFTs. Mm. So I feel like it's our future. Like and like I said, everybody's gonna NFT everything. Uh, uh, artists already doing it where they can mm. say, if you want to do a meet and greet with me, mm. you have to buy my NFT. You got the only way you can come to my meet and greet is if you buy my NFT. Mm. But that gives you access to behind the scenes yeah. and front row tickets. So it's a lot of different ways you can do so you it. So you say you say you say this 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 is here to stay. This ain't going nowhere. Yeah, no, it's over with. NFTs just cracked open a whole new technology, especially going into the web 3.0. Our web, web 1.0 was Yahoo, mm. you know, read only stuff. You yeah. couldn't interact with it. Web 2.0 is now. We can yeah. make our own content, we can post it, we can interact with it. Mm-hmm. Web 3.0 is a whole different beast. That's the metaverse and the virtual reality and blockchain mm. and things like that. So um, as we go more into that, especially with virtual reality and stuff, like yeah. this is all that's going on. Even mm. think about with the lockdown. If it locks down again and everybody like, oh no, I'm on the other end, like, come on. You know, because yeah. I know how big you got to think. How else are they going to push the metaverse and virtual reality right. on without having us indoors? Yeah. So mm. it's deep. Yeah. So I, that's firstly what I think is going on. And if we do have another lockdown, I put this in there. They're going to have the perfect idea time to put it on mm. to put it into fruition. Yeah. So I know Keita don't know this. So you know, what I'm saying? Break it out the <laughs> blockchain. What when you say blockchain, what does that mean specifically? Blockchain is something that's done like on the digital ledger. Um, you know, kind of mm. something that's done like again with smart contracts. You know, it's it, you know. I always tell people like from the block to the blockchain you it's, think of it the same way just how yeah. people make move transactions on the block mm-hmm. you got to do that stuff on the blockchain digitally too you know oh, so yeah. you so if i you send me your nft mm-hmm. and i want to buy it i can only buy it on the blockchain mm-hmm. so it's a, it's like a e-commerce it's like a web right, right, right. platform so you can't do anything you can't buy nfts without blockchain technology mm-hmm. you can't do anything digitized without blockchain technology so the blockchain is just something that's on the digital ledger where it's tracked Meaning like, okay, every time this moves, yeah. every time a transaction is made, we can all see it in real time. Mm. Yeah. Everybody. So that's another reason why people are scared of blockchain technology because there's no more hiding anything. Right, right, right. It's to a public record. Once it's on the blockchain, everybody can see it. Hmm. Yeah, so anything that's done on that blockchain, the whole world can see. As long as you go to the ether scan or different websites, you can see what it is. Yeah. So of course billionaires are scared of this because they don't want you to know much in their pockets. Right, 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 but right. a lot of us don't want to know I'm in their pockets, but the blockchain exposes everybody. It's everybody. Yeah, it's okay. just stored on the digital ledger forever. You can always see it. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. for those who don't know, me and Brandon mm-hmm. met mm-hmm. Roscoe. Yeah. Like just on an organic side, we were yeah. finishing up somebody else's podcast. He had come through. Yeah crazy conversation oh, uh, yes. like I tell you all the time like the after podcast Ooh. be way better than the actual we already start porno by the way you know what I'm saying <laughs> exclusive I might NFT that part right? hey, hey, <laughs> you don't blame me but, uh, what he did was similar to this we were just having normal conversation Damn. about investment strategies yep. and I mm-hmm. thought that it was dope because yep. this was maybe two weeks before it was actually announced yes. that there was going to be a metaverse yep. um, and then he broke it down just plain English for, for the ones like me that yep. don't know. Yep. Um, but he broke down purchasing digital real estate and yeah. like buying black buying back the block yep. in a digital verse. Um, he talked about NFTs and all that. And I really don't want to give away too much sauce because hey, hey, hey. let me tell y'all something. Anybody who's watching this prior to mm-hmm. January 27th when yep. we actually have this, yep. he's actually doing a course, right? Like a yeah. full-fledged break it all the way down, yep. showing you what you need to know, mm-hmm. giving you all the game. Like this was this was enough, you know what I'm saying, just to For convince sure. you. Yeah. But this is nothing compared to what he already got planned. So what I will say is make sure y'all pull up to that. Yep. Um, but Roscoe was one of the first people who put me and Brandon on to the idea yeah. of the possibilities. Um, a lot of times, y'all know how we are when it comes to pulling up, like the elevation mm-hmm. part of pulling up. Um, and he legit just gave it all away just earlier, you know, just like this, just like, like a quick conversation, <laughs> no screen share, no nothing, just, yeah. hey, this is what this means. Yeah. So how did we get here? Because I know you've been making plays for a while now, setting yourself up for the next yeah. lockdown. Yeah. So yeah. where did this even come from? Look, so 
um, they were gonna start. So I, that conversation that we all had on the, uh, mm -hmm. overlooking the dope flats, oh my yeah. God, that was a good time. Uh, but I still remember just locking in. And uh, I know about NFTs and like crypto. Uh, Bennett, first of all, I started in uh, stock investing. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's what I already did that. That's what I was doing. Yeah. Dibble dabbled in crypto, you know, with the forex and stuff like that. But I really like those are currency here was different. Mm -hmm. And then I realized with my guys as I was a part of the forex group, we were dealing with a lot of Bitcoin. And Ethereum, and I'm like, okay, I get it. But I started investing into cryptocurrency, of course, on Coinbase. Okay. That's one of the first things you can do it. But like, after that, I started about NFTs probably February of the last year. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't investing in them. I just heard about it. I was researching. I'm like, ah, I get it. Um, September is when I really got into it. And like, when I had my second son, um, yeah. you know, Maverick, you know, when you have a kid, you get up at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., feeding them. Right, 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 right. So during that time, I was studying. Mm -hmm. Like I'm feeding them instead of just being up, you know, just tired. I'm literally watching YouTube videos. So I got about five thousand hours of study in this. Yeah, yeah, since since September until now. But when I started to see the big picture, I was like, oh, NFTs is cool, but metaverse. Mm -hmm. Oh, nobody's talking about this. Digital real estate, everything like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I started digging deep, deep, deep. So I'm about thirty-five properties in. Um, digital real estate properties that I own all over Cleveland. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so break, break that down, bro. It's like, I'm like, <laughs> I know you can. No, nah, listen, listen, listen. It's like, rock, rock, I, I, be, I, I be watching, I'm like, dang, he is buying, he buying, he buying on Cleveland. He's going to be the mayor of yeah, Cleveland. Yeah, he's the mayor of Cleveland. Digital, right. and that's my whole my, uh, mindset is buying back the block digital. Before mm -hmm. I start buying digital real estate, I've been buying domain names. Mm -hmm. So that's what really got me into it. Shout out my guy, Ishman. He put me on to me. He kind of like was with Nipsey Hussle with like early 2017 when Nipsey was talking about crypto. He was with him. So mm -hmm. shout out to my guy. Um, but first things first, um, um, I was buying domain names. Yeah. A lot of us don't know that too. Like you can buy a domain name for like $10 and resell it. You know what I'm saying? So I always say. Flipping domain names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, how yeah. Mark Cuban uh, first doing. That is very true. So yeah, domain names is how I was like, oh, you can buy like digital assets and then do this. So that's how I started. Uh, but after that, I started buying my properties. Um, and I say, let me research this. I started YouTube and how could you buy land in Cleveland on a digital block? And everybody thought you was crazy. Like, buy land and digital real estate, how you do that? Why do I want to buy something that's digital? Like, I can't live in it. I say, you'll see. The whole time yeah. is, when you go into the metaverse and you go into a situation where you um, got VR headsets, and I can, yeah. you're going into your own metaverse. So if I bought, I bought my, the house I grew up in, I bought my grandmother's house, I bought all these different things because they're sentimental to me first. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I bought it off that. Second is when you put on those VR goggles and you go into the metaverse, don't you want to go to your house? Yeah. I know I'm like, I want to go to my crib. So looking at it like that, you can buy this land. And what they're doing now is they're actually buying building digital real estate in the metaverse where you can actually go in and spend cryptocurrency or to buy stuff. Look at it like this. We got these Jordan ones. It's only made ten of them. Right. Hold up, right. So in order for you to go and get these exclusive one of ones, the only way we want to sell them is not in the store. You gotta wait in line. You gotta go into the metaverse, you gotta go into a metaverse store. The only way you can buy it is with cryptocurrency. You can't buy it with fiat dollars. Fiat right, dollars right. is trash. That's why I say cash is trash in the metaverse because you can only buy crypto. You can only use cryptocurrency to buy certain things. And that main crypto is Ethereum. Ethereum is the one that everybody's buying, everyone's using, and that has the most utility. I look at it like this, Bitcoin is the grandfather. Right, right, Everyone right. knows Bitcoin, that's what the first crypto was. Ethereum is the dad. Mm. All these other crypto, Dogecoin, Shiba Coin, those are the kids. Right, you know, right. Those are coming after that. So Bitcoin's not going anywhere. That's the top tier. But Ethereum is better than Bitcoin to me because it allows you to buy NFTs. You mm. can't buy NFTs with Bitcoin. I'm learning so much tonight, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go back and take notes. Right. But, <laughs> like, I'm like, that's crazy. I've been waiting to get this. I have a, um, my girl has an Oculus. So I've been in the oh, yeah. metaverse. And it's crazy. Crazy. It's crazy. It's so realistic and just it's wild. It's like wow. Especially being able to look down up around a 360 and see everything. Yes. yes. Yeah. My wife and me for anniversary and I'm like, whoa, like I've been studying it. When I got that, I really realized that I knew a lot. Uh, like protect me at all costs right, right. because I start seeing it and like you said you can go we in Cleveland but I can go to Dubai in, in a metaverse and see a, a act like I'm really there I can go to a Kendrick Lamar concert right in the front and look behind me and I'm really in the crowd uh, so it's kind of creeped me out at first because I'm yes. like man it's scary it's, it's creepy. but once you get used so to it so it doesn't feel like a video game it feels no. Like no this is real life I'm talking about y'all because this is real this is real matrix type stuff for me you know what I'm saying it is it's, it's really but it's, I mean, but it's the future Oh yeah, that's top really selling right now. Oculus was the top selling. Um, what's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sell like everybody's getting Oculus, and I'm like, I try to tell y'all because yeah. everything is going into this metaverse field, and the more people get used to it, they have something called haptic. 
haptic is when you can actually feel stuff. So a haptic body suit allows you. Yeah, you can actually love. They start with the big up. Yeah. So you can go into the metaverse and you can touch something and it feels real. You know, if you play a shooting game and you get hit, you're gonna feel it vibrate. You know, it feels like a. Time out, time out. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm getting blown away because like, what movie I watching tonight? Ready Player One. Oh my god. And listen, movie. No, 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 um, saw what I was doing, you know, he invited me out to Texas. Yeah, yeah, he wanted me uh, to educate athletes and stuff like that. So I just be humble on the humble side because I'm like, I did that. But now, this year, I'm not being humble. You know, well, like, so. <laughs> yeah, you break out eventually. You yeah. break out, you know, you, it, it, it's, it's almost like you have to. Yeah. You know, it's almost like you have to. So Still be humble. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. humble -ish, but like in but terms just, of the work that been put in yeah. and the people that yeah. reached yeah. out to me. Yeah, yeah. 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 So um, just when I start to see celebrities and influencers reach out to my DMs and tell me, me, they like what I'm doing and they want to bring me out. I'm like, okay, I'm on to something. Uh, so I went out there, I watched Ready Player One in his, in his guy's uh, movie theater in his house. As we talking about NFTs and stuff like that, and it just tripped me out. because, And it was based out of Columbus, Ohio. You peaked that. Right, right, exactly. In, in 2034. So uh, go watch that, y'all. Even the container homes that is built in. Y'all know container homes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. it's all, we're going into this. And guess what? Y'all know everything yes, that happens definitely. in the movies or Simpson comes to life. Right. So you got you to gotta think about it. Like, <laughs> it is what it is. Or Simpsons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the Oculus headset is something everybody got to experience, man. Like, when you put that thing going, wow. and now I'm using it where I can design, like, uh, cars. You can use it to, to build shoes and houses. So I'm trying to start building my own houses in the metaverse and building my own stuff because I can buy the land all day. You can buy something called a parcel, which is the land. Yeah. You can buy it in the central land or you can buy it in sandbox. So similar to mm -hmm. like actual land. Uh, actual, like actual, 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 actual land. land. Look, you are. Yeah, yeah, so, what? so I love, and my dad is in real estate. I love physical land. Like, Man. trust me, I want this. But I, God forbid a house gets burned down. It's not coming back. It won't right. be built the same. The metaverse is stuck. So, yeah, you can't switch the house. You can build on it. Like, uh, it's a platform I use. It's called the Blockchain Monopoly. Um, basically, imagine playing Monopoly, except with cryptocurrency and, 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 and virtual land. So, that's how I own these 35 properties I was telling you about. Man. So, my next goal is to make miles where I'm from look like Beverly Hills. So, I'm, built, I'm, I'm buying my land. Uh, 114, 116. Bro, 114, bro. Hey. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I'm yeah. From Small world. Small world. 116, 114 from 126 yeah. to 31st. All the way to 112, I own pretty That's much that whole miles, That's and I got dope. some properties in like Illinois and, uh, and and Staten Island too. Yeah. So when people say it, like, man, how you believe it? Well, I got the blockchain, uh, yeah. I got property titles. Yeah. My property title shows you my ownership on the blockchain. Mm. So how you know if you own it? You, well, it's on the blockchain. It shows you when I bought it, how much I paid wow. for it, and it's mine. Mm. So I'm like, how you own this? You didn't know about it. Yeah. How you gonna buy my house and I own it? Yeah, you own it in the land, right, 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 in the right, universe. Right. I own it in the metaverse. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like totally different. different. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm getting real super. Super vivid, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. You mean to say I can I can buy clean if I want to. If I had enough money right now. You tell me I can literally. Look, I'm, what's a, what's available? Yeah. Right, 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 right. If the rock ain't brought yeah, it up, look, you know what I'm saying. I'm on a tear. It took a whole lot. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. right, 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 right. Up with, with cinema to meet. Now I know more and more people getting onto the platform. My next goal is uh, downtown. Mm. I've been looking at the flats heavy and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's, it's expensive now because people are getting hit. Yeah, people my next are goal, getting hit. Heck yeah, the uh, the flats in downtown is what I'm on next because you gotta think. As they build, you can build shops on there. So the platform now has a partnership with the NFL. They allow you to uh, actually buy the NFT hey, NFL's what? pro shop. So if you go into this up, uh, this this project called Upland, um, actually when you go into there, you can actually go into this pro shop. So you go into the, the, the virtual world, whatever. You don't have to have VR headsets. You can go to the land, click on the NFL pro shop. They'll take it to you, and you can actually buy NFL NFTs inside. Stop playing. Yeah. Um, what is it? Is it LA's uh, stadium? All that's, that's uh, what is it? Cool point now? What is it? Uh, um, crypto. Oh, yeah, crypto uh, the Lakers stadium. The Lakers stadium. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's important too because yeah. that exposed the world again to crypto all over the world. Right, right, right. So I'm big in crypto.com, like especially when I invest in my crypto, I have a lot of my investment in that because I believe yeah. that not only the crypto.com, I love because they're a good marketing company. Yeah. I'm big on marketing. That's my background, marketing background. Um, but once I saw them do that, I said it's a wrap. 
Yeah. You take the Staples Arena and then change the crypto. Right. I know. I was like, yes. when I heard that, I was like, yeah, it's, it's official, official for me. For, I, I felt for me that too. It was official. <laughs> yeah. So I, it, it, all these confirmations you show, and it happened so fast. I didn't expect it to happen this fast. So. Man, I never forget. Me and Key was like, we literally was like, we just talked to Roscoe two weeks ago, and then literally is what Mark Mark uh, Mark Zuckerberg was like. Right. I'm like, I'm like, is, is Roscoe a prophet or something? Look, right. <laughs> Look, we both called each other that morning. Right. I was like, damn, I'm, should I DM him and let him know? Like, you was right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate y'all doing that because so many people I was telling about that they called me. They like, bro, I thought you were crazy. Mm -hmm.
both hands. Yeah, you gotta like, hold like, it tight really though, like like you really holding a gun. Right. And they used to, and think about our kids and the, the younger generation. This yeah. is what they do. Yeah. Right. Right. All, all, all day. Fortnite. Yeah. Roblox. So my they son, really gonna be they, uh, when he wake up in the morning, first thing with my phone at. What's that? <laughs> what time? What's that? He so ain't 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 and in, in, in a decade. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking of this long term. I'm not caring about 10 months. I'm playing a 10 year game. Yeah. So that's why I love it. That's a general right there, so. Yeah, yeah, man. Y'all don't play play the long game in this, man. You know, I can I, I made more money off educating people in NFTs than actually buying it. So, mm. yeah, so uh, that's why I come in as the Professor Roscoe. Yeah. I can yeah. officially say I'm the first professor in the NFT world. But I'm going to say in Cleveland for sure, ain't nobody. Oh, yeah, hands down. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. I love Cleveland. I love y'all death. But NFTs, y'all ain't touching me. Like, yeah. at first, because I didn't study it and I didn't have my back hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't study it on purpose, and I documented my process mm. because I got videos where I'm up three, four in the morning migraines because I've been studying and watching mm. videos. But the only person I was studying for was 19 Keys. Um, other than oh, him, I'm to Keys, guys, man. Yeah, yeah. him and Gary V. Other than those two guys, those who I started studying. Everybody else, they're coming along, but those are the two guys who I started paying attention to. Before yeah, that, yeah. I was just studying oh, myself. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So when I heard Gary V. say it again, I know he called TikTok and stuff. That's my guy. I'm like. I can't miss out on this, so yeah. I have no regrets, man. I'm probably like 40 NFTs in the 35 uh, properties, mm. um, you know, so, the, yeah, assets. So, so I'm nice. not playing around with it. And then uh, Digital NFT Crypto University, I started my own blockchain university. Mm. So just like I graduated from BG in the college, mm -hmm. now when you go in the metaverse, what if you want to go to college? Come to my college. Shut yeah, the up, yeah. really? So that's why I'm going to go. College coming soon. Right. Y'all heard it. Y'all got it enroll. DNCU. So I'm working on um, uh, something called uh, blockchain bankrolls, which are kind of like, you know, when you go to your school uh, pro, uh, school store, you buy yeah. school store stuff? Yeah. Those are my uh, bucks that you can buy DNCU merch. So I'll be selling my DNCU t-shirts and everything, but you got to have a blockchain bankroll in order to buy it. So I'm already working Ooh, on building like my own that. token and smart contracts. That's what we were talking about before. Yeah. I can code a smart contract and build my own crypto token. So that's how they're building it. In order to build a token, I was studying this last night, you have to have a smart contract mm. that codes how many tokens is going to be distributed, who's on it and everything. And I like a smart contract because once it's set, it's set. It's set. Yeah. You, do we do a deal right now and say I get 50%, you get 50%. Once that smart contract is generated, can't switch it off. Man, it's once it's power. If you owe me five thousand on this date, I owe you five thousand. Once the contract is hit, it's already dispersed. Nobody can take it back. Mm. That's why I like it. There's no take backs in, on the blockchain. On the they gonna check the game for the sake on the game. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no more paperwork. Um, they're already doing it with uh, cars and title companies. Um, actually, a clean line company. Um, Bernie Marino and a bunch of guys. They started something in 2019 called Blockland. Y'all look this up, man. That's how I started on it. Was deep. They tried to bring blockchain blockchain technology to Cleveland in 2019. They had a big conference and everything, but we were scared of it. The city mm. turned it down. Yeah, they, they, they wasn't ready for it. They're this is 2019. Ready. It was coming from Toronto. Mm. So Toronto, everybody else doing it, but Cleveland didn't want it. Miami does it. Miami has a Miami coin. Um, New York is, is about to get ready to do it. New York's mayor got his first two checks in Bitcoin. So, like, all these different things. Yeah. And when I went to New York, uh, I went to NFT NYC conference in New York last year. That alone right there, excuse me, that alone right there changed my life. Like, mm. went out to New York, um, was at the 4040 Club, talking to celebrities and meeting guys. I met the guy that actually, um, like, literally, he, he, he started NFTs. Like, hands down. His, I ain't gonna say his name, but just know, um, I got DMs from him, DMs from celebrities. And y'all celebrities that send my DMs, I'm turning y'all uh, DMs into NFTs. So, thanks. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Let me know right now. Because, Chase, Chase. Because I know how uh, people that took a lot of my stuff that I'm doing, and, they, and, and this is what happens is these celebrities at the top, they'll take your information because you're at the bottom and they got resources, and they'll just they have the resources. And they'll leave you alone. Yeah. And that's happened to me. Yeah. So I kind of put a bitter taste in my mouth with a certain uh, celebrity I've learned, but I met resources and everything. So now, if you ever a celebrity and you've been in my DMs or I got pictures with you, I'm turning you into an NFT. Mm. So um, that's kind of my next big thing. Um, I'll do it too. I'll so do let, me, um, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Like, okay, so like I know that you can say if you if you're an artist, you yep. can produce some art and you can yep. sell your um, art in the metaverse. Correct. And then only that person that buys it owns it. No question. Like, how does it go? Like, do you do, do you still own the rights? To, like, how does that go? Because mm. I heard Jay Z did something about his album cover or something. I don't I, I don't mm. know if that was a, a reasonable uh, doubt. I heard I heard uh, that's some, what the Dame I, Dash. I, I, um, I, I, yeah, yeah, okay. They, not an NFT, but him, the Dame Dash, and him situation is Dame Dash was trying to sell his stake of Rock Nation as an NFT. 
So mm-hmm. wait, tell me you, you wait, wait, tell me about Yeah, tell you can definitely. You, you you mean tell me you can take a person stock a person stake in a, in a business and make it to NFT? Yeah. God, dang. Yeah, it's cold. You bought so, NFT every day. Look, this bottle of wine, you got NFT though. Must. Yeah. <laughs> Must. Take, Absolutely. Take a picture Absolutely. Of, take a picture of it. Have digital ones. And I Gary Vee actually does it with his dad's wine company. Mm. And what they do is whoever owns this NFT gets a free bottle of wine every month. I love it. Yeah, it's cold. You know, I'm working on my wine club right now. Not to plug myself, but I am. Oh, yeah. Oh, I myself. Always plug this myself. episode is brought to you by. Right. So that's a great concept right there. That's I really like it. Aspect. I like it. Why would I buy this? Oh, you get a free bottle of wine every month. Mm-hmm. Why would I want to be a part of this community? Oh, we having a wine tasting every month, and you get to get free access. So it's the new it's the new um, gift card. It's the new right. everything. Mm-hmm. It's like a digital mm-hmm. country club. You know, really what it is. Like, if you get this certain NFT, you become a part of this country club. That's why people want to buy the, uh, the, the, the Board and Yacht Club, which is one of the most popular NFTs, because Eminem owns one. Snoop Dogg mm-hmm. owns one. Right. Gary Vee owns one. Stephen Curry owns one. All these guys. So if you tell me if I buy this, now if they have a meeting, I get to go to that meeting and be around them and touch elbows because all because we own the And you don't physically got to be there, but you can get in that presence, that. though. So That's it, crazy. you like an educator or coach or consultant or something, you can sell your group coaching and get yeah. any type of access. Yeah. Every single thing. She gets me ideas. Man, no, 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 I went to, I paid uh, nine hundred dollars for a seminar mm. on NFT just because I'm like I want the investment. They were like you charging twenty dollars. I paid seven eighty five. See what I'm saying? Mm. But I said I am looking out for the people who need it the most. Yeah. I didn't been with y'all celebrities and guys with money, and y'all don't need this information. Y'all got money. I need to help the people that really need Absolutely. it. Twenty dollars is affordable. We spend that on a bottle. We spend it at the club. Yeah. But guess what? I'm after this one, I'm like, I'm yeah, I'm get you two to one. <laughs> but after this webinar, <laughs> oh yeah, you can't. I'm not. I'm not doing anything else unless you come with that big red. Mm-hmm. Um, I've already That's been right. consultated in, and I know what my worth is. But mm-hmm. I want to look out for people so I can show Absolutely. y'all what I know, especially in Cleveland. Um, but the, the, the price up, man, I kind of just closed a big deal. I'm, I just sent the NDA over today, the non-disclosure agreement, so I can't really talk about it. But mm-hmm. definitely just uh, so I say, say, for real, way, that's that's big, a big deal with a guy in the industry that's doing some major things, and I told him my story. So it's going to be some major stuff coming from me. But Absolutely. now you got to think companies are about to start hiring. You know how we got digital specialists mm-hmm. and you guys have the market. Oh, yeah. They're going to have oh, NFT yeah. specialists. Oh, yeah. They're going sure. to have to. They're going to have to. So that's where it's going next. So you can continue to keep up with the wave. Yeah. You can't get left. You're going to get left behind this company because any company that's built off Web 2.0 or uh, think about the dot com era. Remember mm-hmm. back in the day, dot com? They're like, man, I don't believe in that dot com stuff. Now look, right? Everything Even cell phones, yeah. Yeah, so I'm big on everything electric cars, anything futuristic because I know that's just what we're going to. We're going to a long game. I got to stock in that too. Look, and I love her. Like, she is. <laughs> no. Scott's crypto NFT, you have to have oh, yeah, your portfolio in real estate. Are you uh, M- Mark? Digital and what is it? And Mark? Yes, that's gonna that's gonna. Listen, bro, she told y'all she, we got the plug. I'm not telling y'all. We're <laughs> blown away. We myself. don't know. We know somebody who knows somebody. I'm the key, the key like, I love y'all. The kid was like, I'm gonna be late. She was like, I'm gonna be late. But I'm here. Yeah, because this is powerful. This is my first interview. Really coming out and talking. I've been behind the scenes and like. I, I saw it happen from my eyes, mm-hmm. like from people not even knowing. I'd have been in Twitter spaces. Like think about it like this: in NFT land, Twitter is king. Mm. Nobody, nobody. You can't learn nothing on Instagram and everything. Clubhouse, Twitter is it? Twitter is made for that. Twitter allows you to get tipped in Bitcoin. Mm. Um, you know, Jack Dorsey, Woo! the founder of Twitter, is big in cryptocurrency. He just actually stepped down from uh, from Twitter and, and, and passed it over to start uh, running this Bitcoin inspired company. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So he, of course he's still on this percentage and everything, but he's not in that no more. So uh, cryptocurrency is big, man. But NFTs have made cryptocurrency more popular because the only way you can buy NFTs is with cryptocurrency. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Somebody just, I, I wasn't hip. I'm not on Twitter, so I wasn't hip. I'm just like, all right, everybody doing videos or whatever. And somebody just told me that a friend of mine was like, no, it's all type of education. Mm. It's all, you can learn so much off Twitter. I'm like, so get me on Twitter tonight. Yeah. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag, hashtag MDT. Hashtag MDT. You want to stay on Twitter, um, just follow people that's doing what they got to do. You know what I'm saying? Follow the right people because I came in saying I want to educate people. Mm-hmm. Not I want to buy and sell NFTs. Mm-hmm. When I went and spoke to these celebrities and guys with money, they was all talking and bragging about 100,000 of my NFTs they own. I don't own that, I don't know that, so I'm right. in there just a small guy. Mm-hmm. But I said, let me educate you. Once I realized that they were paying me for education, Ooh. I said, I'm an educator. And not everybody thing. is going to like, oh, I got to educate learn. you. Because guess what? You can sell the best NFTs, and if nobody knows how to buy it, we can buy it. Exactly. Shh. 
I learned that when I put out my, I put out the first music NFT. Like nobody was even putting on music NFTs. I put one out. Guess what? I'm like, dang, now what? I want people to buy it. They don't want to buy it. Yeah. And that's when my mindset shifted from stop trying to put out all this and put out all these projects. Educate them first because how, when they educated, then they can buy your stuff. Right. Once they start getting the stuff. And minutes don't write minutes though. And that'll show the power in a team. Like, I, I, I gotta learn now. I gotta you learn now. Can't, you can't do everything in a team. Like, period. I can't even say no more. Every life. In a team, everything. Like, books, the book that I wrote. You know, I wrote a book. Um, I ain't even gonna get into all the stuff I do because I'm gonna keep this that. Um, but the book, the book that I wrote, uh, wrote it, sold 100 copies, all that good stuff, bestseller. I turned it into a team. Hmm. All I did was I took the picture of the book, put it on a platform called OPC or Rarible. Listed it in cryptocurrency as an NFT. Now, if you buy that as an NFT, I'm going to send you this band, I'm going to send you a stress ball, I'm going to send you a bookmark. Those are the utilities for buying. I love it. See, so, uh, uh, I'm going NFT everything. My music. Now, my next album I put out, I actually created a song called Digital Wallet. And in order to have cryptocurrency, I have to have a digital wallet. Mm -hmm. So, my whole thing is I'm a professor, I want you to have a digital wallet. So, once mm -hmm. I sign you up, you're part of my game. Part of my digital wallet game. That's all right. Will you be able to do like, uh, 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 will you be able to do like, uh, <laughs> Like affiliate links for any digital wallet that you sign up Thank you. with your NFCs too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm make sure I hook y'all up. But now, when I put out the song, the only way you can see the music video is if you buy the NFT. Mm -hmm. oh. You know what I'm saying? So I'm already, the video crazy. Only way people can watch it is people if people like are on the NFT. People yeah, like yeah. it, they gonna mm -hmm. jump all over. Yeah, that. music NFTs and photography NFTs. So my <laughs> photographers, this a guy, uh, his name is Drifter Shoots. What he does is he stands on towers and buildings, high places, and takes pictures. And it's called where my bands go. So he does. He takes pictures with different bands on, uh, on, on top of like rooftops and uh, time scrapers and everything. What he does is he uh, makes that picture NFT. Yeah. Oh, that would be okay. So y'all, Angie is, the next is our uh, like resident photographer, videographer, right? She is one of those like places and places mm -hmm. type of photographers. Mm -hmm. Her and alienize. Oh, y'all, that's, yeah, that's my brother. Right, that's a whole different game. That's yeah. a director yeah. right and producer. Mm -hmm. Look, yeah, yeah, our creative directors, like they really, they, but that is like her, y'all know how it is mm -hmm. when you go to Where's Arlo, her page is nothing but like just, wow. where did you get this, where, why'd you go there? Yeah, literally. Literally. When I seen her in that sand, I was like, is she in the desert? And it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> people want people to do, he making bread, man, he just goes on, clams on buildings, take pictures, edit them, and then he sells them for like 60 Ethereum. One Ethereum is four thousand dollars, so you do the math on that. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. I didn't curse on that one. Oh, what time out? Time out. One Ethereum is one thousand dollars. So he's selling them for sixty. Yeah, he's killing them too, man. Ooh. You he on Twitter? Like, look him up. He, I think, from Cincinnati. Too. I, I want to say I've, I, I've definitely heard of it before. Yeah. I've definitely heard of it. Photographer. I know. I love my rap, my rapper. Uh, we cool, but the new rock stars is uh, digital designers and photographers. Mm. Mm. Yeah, those those are the those are the new rock stars that we're this world is going like you take a photo or you can do a music video um and nft you, you pretty much go like 10 year old girl made a million dollars off selling nfts yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they even do it's some nfts people just squiggle it's like doodle it's called a squiggle and oh, come on, kids tonight. <laughs> my kids tonight like listen y'all be in a team right together. now <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> i need <laughs> I need y'all to produce. Get this back on the art out of here. <laughs> no, you or make it art. and yeah, make use it the visually. Visually art. Yeah. Okay, okay. Back on the art. Okay, still in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I told yeah. you they just scribbling. It's an art thing I saw. It's called a squiggle. Literally, the name of the collection is squiggle, and somebody just squiggled a digital line, selling for like thirty thousand. But the thing That's about it is, people, awesome. yeah, people, uh, they make it where they only sell a certain amount. That's a whole another exclusive thing. Right. So mm. they say, for instance, they say I'm only selling ten thousand of these. That's it. Once these ten thousand are bought up. And you got one of these ten thousand, and out of the millions of people in the world, you can sell it wherever you want. Because as the value goes up, people gonna want to buy it from you. So you just got plugged in. I was think about it. Ten thousand is very small for a big world. Big and world and it's only it's just a big world, yeah, right? Big right. So, so I'm be like, oh, I only own this when they get hit to it. Now what they're doing now is if you buy a certain NFT, it comes with land in the metaverse. Mm -hmm. So they're 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 building their own video games. Mm -hmm. So if you buy my NFT, this is your player in the video game. Uh, yeah, it's cold. So think about Mortal Kombat. Only yeah. you could have played Mortal Kombat back in the day. They say, for instance, they say only you can play Mortal Kombat is if you buy an NFT character. Mm. 
If you don't buy this NFT, the only way you can play 2K, only way you can play my player 2K. Oh, my next day is over with. Yeah, so it's, it's already about to happen. They already working on it. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So let's, let's, let's put it. So I'm I'm an average person. Yeah, we know. Right. I'm on your. Not your average. Not your average. So 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 if I, I'm, I'm, I got I got I got money to invest and I want to put it somewhere, right? Yep. And I say I want to see Roscoe about it. Where should I start? Where, if I'm at ground zero, I want to. I got money, but I, I want to invest in the right place. Where where should I go? How do I go about doing that? First, you gotta get your digital wallet. All time. MetaMask. MetaMask, the one I, uh, I refer to, that's my, one of my favorites, easy to use. Mm -hmm. um, you gotta get you a digital wallet. Then you gotta get you some crypto in that digital wallet. Okay. That's all top. You know, I tell people all the time, you wanna talk about NFTs and crypto, don't talk to me until you get a digital wallet. Mm -hmm. That's a Coinbase, that's a, anything that can hold cryptocurrency is a digital wallet. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's multiple ones, uh, Coinbase, uh, Celsius, uh, Crypto.com app, all these different ones you can use, but you would do that. Mm -hmm. Next, I would say, depending on if you want to invest in the cryptocurrency, again, I'm just, this is my advice, yeah. I would say Crypto.com going. Okay. Mm -hmm. Going to the market and stuff yeah. like that. That's where I'm really big in right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mana coin. Mana coin is the coin for Decentraland. This is the coin you can use to buy stuff in the metaverse. Okay. So remember mm -hmm. I told y'all Decentraland has the parcels you can buy land? Yeah. yeah. The only way, their native token is called a Mana coin. Um, that coin allows you to spin in that metaverse. Mm -hmm. Sandbox, uh, the Sand Coin. Sandbox is another metaverse with Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg has mm -hmm. his his um, his uh, metaverse mansion inside of this thing. Mm -hmm. So in order for you to buy certain things in that, yeah, you need to like that vending machine that I showed y'all. That's yeah. the Sandbox vending machine. Only you can buy stuff out of that is with a Sand Coin. Okay. So I would say those ones. Mm -hmm. Then I would say look into um, uh, metaverse properties. Um, mm -hmm. Trying to buy up that land, you know right. what I'm saying? Because that holds value of time. The reason land is so important because as the metaverse becomes more and more popular, you can rent your land out. So say if somebody wants to do a concert on your land, but they didn't buy one of the parcels, there's only 160,000 parcels. Well, you can once Chappelle? they sold off. Yeah. Right. Right. Hold on. <laughs> Chappelle, Dave Chappelle just also just aped into uh, NFTs as well. He just bought a board ape. Um, and he uh, he did something else, but his his, his his name inside the metaverse is Follow the White People. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I love him. I That's do smart. too. So I yeah, you said it's true. I'm just following what they do. Yeah. Right, right. He got a, he got a board. That's kind of the number one NFT right now. Everybody they they just probably caught a billion dollars in sales on digital art. What do you know about KuCoin? I don't know about KuCoin. It's a it's it's a digital wallet. Okay. Um, supposedly it is. Uh, they introduce things like Chase. Mm. Chase has KDA okay, right now. That, yeah. So they introduced the coin before it hits crypto.com. Mm. Oh, that's mm. dope. You put me on. Before, yeah, before it hit crypto. So, you know, if it's this much here yeah. and before it hits the other wallets, the more popular ones that we're talking about, mm. then it's going to skyrocket. Yep. That's the reason why I, because when I say they took me, I felt like I was in the government mm. going, going into to the White House. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they want you to do all kind of identifying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, they won't. Yes, you do. They won't. And I'm like, I, I, I backed up a little bit. I'm like, wait a minute. I feel like somebody going to have everything. You know what I'm saying? But when they did let me in, you know, I'm like, this is Chase's coin. It's not in Crypto.com. It's not in uh, Coinbase. It's not in any of that. So I'm like, okay, I need in on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, because I know it has to do something. So do you think that? Okay, if you have a bank coin, yep. do you think that you'll be able to buy everywhere mm. in in the metaverse and um, in sandbox if the, if, they, if the banks have their own coins? Oh, I hate to say it, but banks are going down. <laughs> yeah, banks are over. Money ain't worth nothing. Yeah, fiat dollar is though, it doesn't matter. That's why a lot of banks and Master and Visa card they have crypto coins. Mm -hmm. People already know these bank cards and these credit cards. Now we got this guy. I want to talk about credit card, but you need a credit card crypto. I don't want a credit card money. I want you to give me a credit card in crypto, which they do have that. Uh, so I, they probably can, but I think banks are leaving. I don't think nobody. Why do you need a bank? And I can, a bank right. gives you 0.4 cents every year for holding your money in right. 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 I, I made four dollars just off of my money in crypto last week. Man. Four dollars in one week, I'm selling my money, staking my money compared to four cents. Yes. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just learning about the staking. The staking's code. Yeah. This is the best interview for the, so far for the year, because I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm,
even from the first time we actually had like real yeah. conversation, I love like it, he put it in layman's terms. Like I love when people are smart and they like are great, but I hate when people try to prove that they're smart. Mm. And it bothers me almost to the fact where I, it discredits you. I feel like, why are you going this high with it? I'm, I'm not grading your paper, baby. Yeah. Talk to me like me. Bring those cookies down to the shelf for me. Yeah, yeah. you know, I'm only 5'5", five five and I'm taking a five. You don't take that half inch, you get five. Man, man. Don't talk to me straight. Break it down where I get it. And that's how our very first interaction. And and just shout out to you for that, because he didn't have to spit as much game as he did. No. Right? no we focusing tonight on crypto, but um, for those who don't know, he is multifaceted or whatever. So like he said, he's a father. Um, he actually, similar, I think he really trying to steal our swag low key. So they got, <laughs> yeah. he got his own podcast where they do the same thing. They put people on the back end business podcast. Two fathers, and sometimes they even bring the kids on. Like that's how dedicated they are to putting people on in the city. And I appreciate y'all for that. Um, on top of that, he part of Ignite the Light. They low key the ops, you know what I'm saying? But. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my family, Ignite. No, no, for sure. Shout out to y'all, though. Yeah. Y'all gonna put, they pull up on us and we'll pull up on them, actually, oh. right? You know what I'm saying? But when we have these conversations, this is just the crypto part, right? Just just the NFT part. And this is only the surface. This, right. ain't, this ain't nothing touching what we're going over on 27. For $20, like, be for real. But he also taught us about, like, he said, investing in domains. Uh, and then walking billboards, you know what I'm saying? Like walking around with your oh, marketing, that's real that. marketing plan. That. And, I, and I don't know, like, you know, we can tap on it, you don't want to tap on it, but I feel like the way that you organically spread love, I appreciate, I appreciate that part. Yeah, I feel really. like yeah, everybody know Roscoe. Mm -hmm. No E, like, it's, it's not no. It's legit. Like yeah, no E. Yeah, no E at the end. That's that's what that is, y'all. Um, but he's um, like I said, he got a new persona, like the Professor Roscoe, and I'm glad that he finally owned he it. Earned that title. It. He yeah, earned it. he earned it. Yeah, yeah. so own it because you because you own it. Yeah, and like people don't know, I work at a school. You know, I work at a high school teaching students about career development. So I really, my background really is education. Yeah, sure. So like, that's what I'm saying, this is what I do. So when I see these celebrity projects that come out, they tell everybody about it, I'm like, who did you educate? Mm. Right. Then they don't sell out. They be like, man, I'm famous, I thought I was selling out. Nobody knows how to buy it. Right. Like, so, I don't know how to support you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, how do I want to buy the NFT? And I don't even know what it's about. I heard about it, and I want to mm. get involved. But I told you all the time, like, if you can break it down to our level where we understand it, it's better. Yeah. Don't talk over my head, like, I don't want to hear that. Make it simple, because it is simple. Yeah. People try to sound more clever and everything, because we got all these rumors. Right. And, and social media now is based on the sponsored ads. That's yeah. a whole different product, that's a whole different conversation. But Facebook changed their name to Meta, cracked everything open. Yeah. And now they're like, oh, we the Meta. They're trying to take over the Metaverse. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what they want. They don't yeah. want to be social media more. What if I tell you, you know, we're scrolling our phones? I can tell you all about augmented reality. That's a whole different conversation. Augmented reality is when you put on, uh, imagine Apple Glass is already ready to come out. Probably, you know, give me, um, Follow me, y'all quote me on this, probably about two quarters. If I say quarter three this year, maybe go four. When they put that out, we not scrolling on our phone. Remember your Apple Watch? Mm -hmm. You see Black Panther? When he done it. Yeah. Oh, hey Siri, she holographics out your phone. Thank what? you. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. I mean, she, she holographics out your <laughs> watch. Yeah, what? Yeah, it's you said, but you said two quarters from now, bro. You talking about this? I think, I think so. Right. Yeah, I personally think so, the way it's going. They may be next year, but they already put out an article that they're doing it. Apple just cost $3 trillion a company, so. <clears throat> Yeah, I think it's coming, but now you got on Apple glasses, you hit boom, boom, boom. Now you seeing everything on your phone. And first one to tell us to hit us for that one. Yeah, it's deep. Yeah, so now I'm like, wow. hey Siri, Siri come up out of there. We ain't scrolling our phone doing that. You actually swiping it in virtual reality, like all the reality wow. material. So that was, those are all things that's coming as well. Mm. So y'all think, look, AR, VR is where I'm changing my mindset to now. I didn't feel like I mastered the NFTs and the, and the metaverse. Now I'm studying augmented reality and making moving pictures. You know what I'm saying? Like where you can see it really big and you like, oh, I'm touching this, but you're not. What? Yeah, so I've done a bunch of like, yeah, you're going to be on your phone like, mm. oh, I can see what your phone is. No, every glasses is programmed for your phone. So you can't even see what, what, what people are seeing that you have on. That is crazy. So, so we moving gonna forward, like, we're going to be weird looking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like yeah, talking to each like other don't really be like weird. Like, she, she oh, oh, she have a real conversation. Yeah. Like they meet. Right, 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 right. 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 Remember right. At the metaverse. Talk about the, you flip <laughs> back, back in the day. Meet somebody offline, like man, that's crazy as hell. Right, that's right. normal now. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Guess what? In the metaverse, you can be whoever you want. You can be a twelve pack. 
Oh, I need to hurry up and get on. Oh, I got this yeah. hood, dog. Oh, I'm being stupid, real. In the metaverse, you, you can be an animal. Like, in the metaverse, you can be whatever you want. In that Ready Player One movie. Man, yeah, you know, right, 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 man. It allows you to morph into I'm, 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 I'm over tripping. I'm over this thing alone over here, y'all. I'm over tripping. So I can't believe it. Everybody, please watch Ready Player One. Yes. Yeah, that's a good movie. Yeah, once you watch that, you're going to understand what I'm saying. You're going to see it in real life. Even how they had the contest to try to win, you know, all the the coin in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get to win a whole. Uh, coin to win a land. Um, it's, it's deep, man. It's I deep. feel like uh, we just got to explain a lot. Yeah, Ready Player One is, is, is the blueprint for what y'all about to see mm. in the next five to ten years. So don't get left behind talking about some, oh, I heard about it. I'm trying man. to tell y'all, man. Like, yeah. It's YouTube out there. It's everything. But me as a consultant, I get paid off people's laziness. And I, and I understand man. that. Is, so, I'm, you know, if you're going to be lazy on it, you got to pay me. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, my time is valuable. I got a family. I can, every time I take away time from them, I'm wait, I, I gotta get paid for my time because I'm taking away time from them. So That's y'all gotta real. respect me when I say I have a price. I don't mean Ooh. to disrespect you, but you gotta pay to get this information or go get it yourself. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to save you six months of studying, just breaking it down like this. Uh, but if you don't want it, it's cool. Title of the episode, I'm getting paid for laziness. That's the title of the episode. Because you know, yeah, if you could ask for his expertise, you could pay for it. You can pay for it. I'm good. You know how I feel about that. Yeah, exactly. But you can also go to get your own research and everything, too. But I just, I'm a master researcher. That's and you ain't going to YouTube your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we put it in the metaverse. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to Google your way <laughs> to like yeah, actually yeah. make yeah. it and earn it. Like the conversations we have then, yeah. you got to get in now, right? Because the more <sighs> the more you wait, the harder it's, it's going to be for you to penetrate. Yeah. So, it's progressing. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Fix your learning curve. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. don't play yourself by yeah. not wanting to invest in yourself. Right. Because you're going to have to. Yeah. I would rather spend time and money now. I'm trying to do it later. I got right now, $20 though for I got right now. Seriously. 20 That's what I'm saying. 20, and I was putting myself in a foot. I told you my OG, like, $20, bro. You're killing yours. I'll say, you know what? If I charge twenty dollars and I get a hundred people on the Zoom, I just made two thousand dollars that I'm going to put back into investing in myself mm-hmm. and learning. Mm-hmm. And then guess what? The information I just learned from that two thousand buying courses and everything to learn again, the price goes up even more because my value's there. And I've been paid by celebrities to get this information, so I don't need that confirmation anymore. Right. In Cleveland, it's a show state, a show city. Mm-hmm. I got to mm-hmm. show you I'm doing something. Or you sure do. So oh, wow. I get it, y'all. But we got to use the whole show you thing. So I'm gonna really show you. So mm-hmm. shout out to Back End Business Podcast too. That's our podcast. So, I love. Y'all, you know, we coming on yeah, there too. Yeah, yeah. We learn about people's, on there. people's back end story, and I feel like even podcasting in Cleveland, y'all. We got the All Star Game coming up. Like it's just our year, but let's get out each other's way. Facts. Sometimes mm-hmm. we be in our own way in the city, and we we, we want to be like, nah, I did it first, or I hate the person. Look, who did it? Who did it best? Yeah, you don't really care who did it first. No more these NFTs and stuff like how to put in the work. Open C and variable are the platform. Somebody gonna ask me like, how do I buy them? Where do I buy them? Mm-hmm. Open C is a platform. Variable is a platform. Okay. There's many a platform. A photography NFT platform as well. You can do that. So I'm telling y'all to my photographers, I'm gonna keep selling it. Y'all know how y'all take y'all pictures and post it on Instagram and just get a couple of likes. That's that's not it no more. Take that picture and post it onto a marketplace like OpenSea and sell it as an NFT so you can get paid crypto. Nobody you don't want to see your pictures and just Look, like all over taking notes. So like our whole page. Please catch me over. Hey, it only makes sense. And I like NFTs because there's no color in the metaverse. Mm. Color on the metaverse is green. Like they don't know if you're black, white. They don't know if you, whatever you your status is in the metaverse. Nobody knows. Like so, for my introverts and extroverts people that don't read, it don't matter. In the metaverse, you can be whoever you want. You can be the, you can be the wildest person you ever been. Um, and I like that because sometimes we can be in a space where we can just let loose. But we don't have to be uh, have our guard up. Metaverse, you can be whoever you want, do whatever you want. But that camera, those are the ones that's next, y'all. And music entities. That's another thing to my musicians. Spotify only pays what half a penny for a thousand streams, man. That's terrible. Mm. I can charge, I can sell my NFT for five dollars, and I just made five dollars, which would cost me fifty, which would have put an equivalent to hundred thousand streams, all off one person buying. Ooh, I like that. So Educate. Good. So art, because it does seem like that would be the first of all the eyes of the metaverse, because it got to look real to yeah, feel. Right. Real. Oh so, my god. You know what I'm saying? They got to look yeah. good to feel good. So I could, I totally get the visual part. Yeah. But like you said, art, you can't. Especially if it's a limited mm-hmm. edition. Mm-hmm. And music is such a mm-hmm. necessary art, even when we drive. You know what I'm saying? Everybody loves you want to hear it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm about to make it a playlist, y'all. It's going to be all marketing strategies. All right. <laughs> and they get paid. And I'm going to say, just don't get paid a dollar. Charge me. Charge me. Go to the Go to the, go across the street. Come on. Yeah, to the, to the university. Yep. If you get some uh, extra points, 
I like sweatshirts. They already got the Bitcoin ATM machines popping up everywhere. I yeah, I've seen a lot of the stores already. So like people like, man, uh, that's another thing. I'm like, okay, you all have to fast. It's, it's Bitcoin. Super fast. You gotta get yeah. hit because you gon' you gonna be the one that's like, ah, oh, I don't believe in that. I don't see. Three months have passed by, and you didn't lost the whole lifetime. It was two weeks for us. The last time he prophesied. Uh, right, 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 right. Also for all prophets, also in the minute, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was two <laughs> we both woke up like, dang, did you see this? Yeah, I, 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 man. Like, yeah, I was tripping too, but I agree. I'm like, it's fast. I'm like, nah, but uh, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, during that time, I bought three domain names. Mm-hmm. So uh, they had better ways. So, hey. So, so, so yeah, I pay you in order to make sure. I'm like, oh, bro, you, you are a genius. <laughs> you are a genius, man. Yeah, so domain names. Oh, when I heard, I started to first metaverse, that keyword. You got to think about the Google AdWords. Yeah. So now NFTs, all the domains I've got. They got to pay him. Yeah, so now uh, the metaversehiphop.com, my own name. Uh, I'll be front row that day. Yeah, yeah, it's, man, it's a bunch of them. Yeah. Metaverse pendant. That's another thing. So you see, I got this Bitcoin pendant on. Yeah. Now they have it where you can put your NFT as a movable image and a loop inside your jewelry. So it's called a uh, crypto jewelry. Mm. So say, for instance, you own an NFT and it moves into the 3D image. You can actually get it in your Apple Watch. You know, the little Apple Watch, you can take it off. And they got it on necklaces. And you can wear your digital images. So that's the next new flex. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want to just have still. Stuff now that we want to move it, right. so yeah, it's, it's, it's happening already. People are developing. It feels really, I mean, being in the metaverse feels so real. Like, I had the goggles on and he had the gloves on, but he was going wherever I was going, but he was just knocking me into stuff and he was cracking up at me because I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, real life. He's like, baby, you can't feel it. And I'm like, it seems like you're about to hurt me, though. I fell over it chairs seems- and everything, being in there running from stuff because. Like you will see a lot of videos on Instagram of people running. I see, I see, I see the, I see the baby getting knocked out. I, I didn't see yes. this real old <laughs> man fight like he was like. Oh, you gotta really! I was, I was yeah. worked mm-hmm. out when I came out of boxing. Mm-hmm. I felt like I went to the gym. Yes. Mm-hmm. I was literally worked out, and it, and you gotta move. You gotta literally be boxing somebody. Yes. But the cool thing about it. Mm-hmm is you want to make sure you do have space because it lets you outline the space. So if you, okay, so if this, this desk is here, I'm going to outline around the desk so it's going to prevent me from right. going to this desk. Oh, you yeah. outline like your a, space. Like shield, yes, that like that a shield. Like, oh, like when you about smart. to go out, it, you, it put up a wall like yeah. so you know not to pass that. So I know I'm what? about to come into contact oh, with that well, door. That is so that smart. So that. you can't just hit the no. wall right. and keep walking. Right. No. Some stuff scares you so quick you don't even think about it. They got a Jurassic Park thing in like I saw oh. dinosaurs, so I'm in there looking at big dinosaurs. I'm like looking yeah. scared. <laughs> but yeah, like jump off roofs and it's all so that. It's realistic. It really is. Oh, like Get it. y'all them VR glasses, man. That's the only way you can really enter the metaverse. Of course, you can enter it online with your MetaMask wallet. But if anything, y'all get from this, get a digital wallet, man. I'm like, just set up your MetaMask. You're gonna get a receipt phrase, which is like your passcode to your phone. Mm-hmm. Except your secret receipt C phrase is, uh, secures your wallet. So it's like a 12 to 16 digit uh, word. So somebody got to try to guess your 12 words that you pick for. Mm. Yeah, so it's, imagine anybody can try I'm to get real, your that, passcode. Real secure right it's there. hard. Yeah, it's hard. Because so, you got to think, if you lose your passcode or your C phrase to your wallet, that money's gone. It's, Period. You're gone. There's, oh, there's yes. stories of dudes that's lost uh, billions of bitcoins and because they forgot the C phrase to their wallet. I saw the paper and I'm like, what are these words? And he was like, where'd you find right, it? And nah. I was like, what? Are, and he was like, he was like, oh, that's for the uh, metaverse. And I'm like, nah, that's not, your C you, phrase, baby. That's your combination lock to everything. Yeah, you lose and I was that, like, what? What? It was 12 words, now that yeah, I think yeah, about it. And yeah. I was like, well, I think yeah. you might want to take a picture. Please. <laughs> <laughs> take a picture. You might want to do that. Put it somewhere. Put it, right? yeah. put it everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I think you should write it down and put it in the safe box. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how serious I am with it because if you, if you, God, God forbid somebody get into your iPod your or they take your phone and they see that C phrase, it's gone. So, yeah, people have too many stories of guys losing millions of dollars because they lost they see friends or they yeah. work it down um and they got money in wallets that they just beating themselves up because you can't get it you can't yeah i saw that i yeah. saw that for the first time it was like remember this because yeah. you're if you lose it you cannot it's, it's, it's over, over. Yeah, literally it's over Ooh, so y'all, 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 these are, y'all gotta get these gems man because it's it, it's deep like so that's all I'm about to say because we don't want you to get a whole game away. You know what I'm saying? Let's no, no, yeah. Give it January 27. January 27, y'all come get the rest at the webinar. One zone, only $20. You can uh, uh, register and everything like that, the whole nine. But yeah, this is Where do they go on. to register for the uh, digital NFT, Crypto okay. University? Okay. I know it's long, but just stay with me. Digital NFT, NFT. Crypto, Crypto University. University. <laughs> like, yeah, that's it. So some people are like, Where, what university is this? It's a digital NFT, Crypto University. <laughs> you're going to come learn digital, you're going to learn NFT, you're going to learn a university. 
Uh, so yeah, and then that's that's special too. I want to say this card because it got something on the back that I want people to know, which is this um, QR codes. I've been telling y'all. QR so listen, codes. Listen up, because this is my yeah. favorite part. <laughs> listen, this is gonna change everything, and I'm gonna say it again because you can scan this and go wherever to, to, to anything. We even have QR codes on our social medias. Mm -hmm. um, so instead of people and they be like, hey, where can I find you and everything? Oh, at Roscoe underscore no E. They forget. Mm -hmm. Hey, where can you find me? Scan this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All your info come yeah, up. All your so, contact. Yeah, so scan the QR code. Y'all make sure y'all get that. Now imagine you got an NFT shirt, right? Or you yeah. got that shirt. I'm like, I love that Ron Cleveland shirt. But you got a QR code <laughs> in the back of it. Where you get that shirt from? Huh, scan my shirt. Mm -hmm. Scan my QR code on the tag. Now you got my NFT. Sneaking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, oh, I want to make sure I say that, y'all. The QR codes, man, is everything. Get some marketing, get some stuff for you, man. Um, you know, if you want to get an LLC, um, digital stores, marketing, social media content. Uh, I'm a life insurance agent. I sell legal protection. All that good stuff, man. You do all, bro. Yeah, and I've been trying to be humble with it because I'm here. Very humble, but I do a lot, y'all. And, yeah. and I took them classes and I study for it. You did you um, put the work in, yeah, man. for y'all, man. So come get a consultation. But QR codes, man, like that's it, man. If you look on your Instagram and everything too, and your Twitter, you can actually have somebody scan your QR code to follow you. So I didn't put a lot of people on there that's because mm. they never paid attention. But get simple things, man. Simple stuff like that. Some close out. So what last? So what's what's next up for you, Roscoe? And from year from now, I know you're gonna be doing big things. You might be able to get on the podcast, you know what I'm saying? Because you'll be out in the metaverse right. somewhere, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, bro, take the glasses off. <laughs> like, come on. What's next, what's, next, what's, what's next up for you, man? What, what's what, what, what you still come on the pipeline, man? Uh, look, man, just building up this university, getting, mm -hmm. getting a lot of people on board and enrolled. I'm big on education. I just want to educate more people on this. More and more people learn about it, but they, 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 they get confused and they're doing the research and they stop doing it. So mm -hmm. my goal is to get more of our people educated, especially in this space. Um, uh, it, it's a lot of uh, uh, white men in this space. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not a lot of women and it's not a lot of people of us. Mm -hmm. uh, so my goal is to get a lot of us and, and, and women into this space That's so cool. we can compete. You know what I'm saying? And we always last. So I want us to be last with this because sure. this is a long term thing. So glad uh, you said that. Yeah, it's a long term game. So just educating people, uh, putting on my Digital Wild Again song. Mm -hmm. um, that's when I'll be pushing everything. And just really, you know, going on a tour. You know, every time they had an MT type of conference, I want them to book me as a performer. Mm -hmm. um, and I want them to book me. People already That'd actually so performing cool. in the metaverse right now. They actually really? Have, yeah, like even Travis Scott did it in Fortnite, um, you know, with his, with his concert. But they're actually uh, performing, paying people to perform at uh, metaverse festivals. So you think about like the Woodstock and, and, and a lot of oh, Lesbo, yeah, and you, oh they have a metaverse festivals already. Mm -hmm. um, and you can actually uh, have a Zoom. It's a it's an app that you can use that people can actually really perform in this. If they're not an avatar, they can just perform in real life um, via Zoom. But your avatar is a metaverse person that can see it. So you have to show you can dance and everything in it. Like it's cool. So educating people, um, you know, um, um, putting on my NFTs, um, you know, um, and just really, I got a project in NFTs and I'm put out. But I'm I'm trying to educate right now. Right. Yeah, I want to become the top professor uh, NFT and. Crypto education, period. So yeah, that's Cleveland, you the door in Cleveland. Yeah, you are, so are, Cleveland. Look, I love oh, y'all. You, you want to know? Yeah, if y'all want to talk about that, and I and I take pride in it. I just studied it, and I didn't put in the work. So if you want to go question for question with me, or knowledge for knowledge, we can do that because this is what I do. Um, but I want to get more business educated because, mm -hmm. like, even your wines, my life. This whole every business should be doing NFTs, and they're gonna do it. Um, mm -hmm. But I want to get buy up your because. If you buy the plot of land, you can buy the land that it sit on and then kind of dress it up to look like yeah. where it's at. Mm -hmm. You can make whatever you want. I'm hearing this, right? And then put a store in there and add it on that and then put an NFT inside that store. Yeah, so. Okay, so you're going to help me set up my school, too. Yeah, yeah. Say, so at least let me get a classroom right now. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, rent that land. Buy that land, y'all. Because they gonna when, when the price go up and everybody talking about buying physical land and you buy the digital land, it's all gone. It's all gone. You know, so there's certain platforms you can use, but they only got 160,000 parcels of land. So Dang. if you don't have that, um, yeah, you gonna have to you gotta pay you gonna pay the land off. Ooh. So get you some land, get you some crypto, get you some NFTs, and study, 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 and make sure you register uh, for my webinar on the 27th January. Um, only 20 bucks, you know the price gonna be up, maybe 20 thousand next time y'all talk to me. But Listen, for right now, it'll be worth it too. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that's yeah. digital NFT crypto university. Digital yeah. NFT crypto <laughs> university. <laughs> digital <laughs> NFT <laughs> crypto <laughs> university. <laughs> Please. Listen, y'all. Do yourself a favor. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, man, I appreciate y'all though. Russ, you did a big one for the first yeah. of the year, bro. It's like y'all come hard. Everybody gotta come hard after this one because he, he didn't. <laughs> he I'm ain't over, come to play. He ain't gonna play. I'm over here just like I'm over here going. He educated the best yeah. out of everybody. Yeah. Like, what you mean? Like, everybody take it right yeah. over there, taking yeah. notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got it, man. Like especially in the city. Like my I mean, my last go to student is, uh, and I don't like telling my ideas out because a lot of times I told y'all, mm-hmm. um, and I gotta get out of that. Like I said, I told my ideas to a lot of people, yeah. and they are running with it because they have resources. They you know can cut me out of the picture, and that's that's happened, but. Uh, uh, um, I'm gonna start a, a NFT club in Ohio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Ohio, Ohio Crypto NFT Club, and we meet, you know, weekly. If you own an NFT or you own a crypto, yeah, you can come to these <laughs> weekly meetings. So that's what my next goal is to like really bring in Ohio, building up our NFT crypto community. And if you own it, right you can come talk to us. Yeah. I'm all right now. So we all have all these guys. Yes, Listen. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, thank you for coming on. Appreciate it. You did not. I appreciate it. I'm going to rewatch this episode myself tonight. I'm going to take a couple notes. You don't want to do tonight. Can you upload it for the rest of us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all get it after I do. You know what I'm saying? Look at that, man. And there's more to learn, y'all. Augmented reality, though, that's next. Like, oh, that's man. something you gotta. That we ain't even. That's so part two of the interview, you were saying? Yeah, okay, all right. Like, yeah, y'all I heard it. Give you all that. <laughs> two more quarters, y'all. So he be like, yeah. I said, yeah. <laughs> if it ain't two quarters, it'll be in this year. But they, 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 y'all gonna hear more about it. They already put out a post. Apple talking about it, but the glasses gonna be gonna change everything. And Ray Ban is already doing it. I meant to say that too. They Ray Ban has. Um, mm-hmm. They have the. You can go look it up. I forgot what they call it, but they, you can take pictures and everything and record on your Ray Bans and turn up the volume. Uh, so Ray Ban is already doing it. Wow. Shut um, up. Yeah, wow. Wow. I just watched Ray a Band. movie like uh, Swan Song. Mm. It was a movie like that. It's futuristic. Mm-hmm. They were like, it's like you can make a clone if you get sick. Oh. But his contacts and his glasses were like his phone and his earphones and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's it. That's next. Yeah. They already, they're already uh, working on the, um, uh, uh, what are they, the digital, uh, what are they, uh, contact lenses. Mm. Yeah, so instead of mm. people that don't want to wear glasses, you mm-hmm. can put on the contact lens yeah. and we see virtual yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's what we were yeah, doing. So it's, it's, it's some spooky stuff. People be like, man, it's spooky, but that's what they was talking it about is before. Spooky. But it's happening. It's yeah, happening. You can be spooked it's out happening. all you want. Mm-hmm. It's going to keep you behind. Yeah, because look so. at Tesla. They, Come on. they took over yeah. in a small amount of time. And get some stocks too, y'all. Like I said before, that's mm-hmm. where I got my start at. So Tesla, Apple, all that, I own that. I'm mm-hmm. shareholder. So people are like, so how can you say you own it? You only own one share. It doesn't matter. I can uh, make rules. Exactly. I can everything. One piece of something, just like a slice of pizza, it's a box. Mm-hmm. If I take a slice of pizza and eat it, I just ate a piece. Just because it's nine left don't mean I didn't eat my slice. Mm-hmm. So that's how I look at it. So get your slice of pizza. Oh, yeah. Y'all. You can't, it can't no better than that, y'all. Roscoe, Roscoe, man. Roscoe, man. <laughs> man. Stop, we did it, man. No E. No E. No E. No E. Not Roscoe Dash. Doing the big. Not Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle. It's Roscoe Slice off the E. Shout my boy Corey Banks. He actually gave me that name. That's my <laughs> Start on 2020 big, y'all. Hey, listen, we're going to drop this soon. And listen, hey, we appreciate y'all. Till next time. Yeah. Yeah. Bye.